Well, hello, it's Karen. And Ruth, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. We come to you from a very, very chilly Manchester. Chilly? It's fr- It's perishing. Yeah. What? What was the temperature at 7am this morning? Minus 7. Now then. Minus 7. Whoa. I, I, we, we're actually thinking of getting a bit of a seaside chalet in Kuwait, aren't we? Well, <laughs> <laughs> do we know any good estate agents, though? No. <laughs> I don't know anybody who know we go to buy a villa. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. anyway, it's... Anyway, as a, as a by the by, our dog has the most disgusting, noxious, toxic farts going on. So if you hear us making any kind of... Uh, gagging. Yeah, <laughs> gippy noises, that's what it is. He stinks. Uh, anyway, we are here to talk about our very, very favourite tour guide. Yes. Chantal. Shazza. Shazza. Yeah. So today, what have we got? Iraq road trip? Well, now, is she a tour guide or is she a post-war correspondent? Well, I don't know, but it could be risky business. Risky. Anyway, shall we see what she's up to? Please, let's, let's look. You guys, I have an amazing surprise for you guys. That's the Iraq border. We're going to Iraq. Well, I'm amazed because, you know, I thought it was the, the viaduct. What, down at Clayton Vale? Yeah, the Clayton Vale <laughs> viaduct. Well, I was quiet when she said, there's Iraq. I was like, oh! Oh, gag, ag, has. Yeah, we were ag hast, weren't we? Yeah. Iraq. Oh, this could be exciting. Yalla. Just kidding. We're going to Elbow Higher Farms. Oh no, she fooled us. Oh darn. Um while we're here I'll do is she drop the word yalla <laughs> because to me and I've never said but I did live out in the <laughs> Middle East. Yalla to me I interpret as come on, hurry up. <laughs> that's that's anyway, just saying. Is that what the wives usually get? Yeah, yalla, come on, shift your ass. Ten feet behind the husbands. But anyway, bismillah and all of that. Yeah, yeah, and all the rest of it. Yeah. Alright, so while we're not going to Iraq today, we are visiting an area of Kuwait called Abdali Farms area. More specifically, the Al Bouhaira Farms, which is literally minutes from the Iraq border. The ride there was mostly desert. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. It's one shocking revelation after another, isn't well, it? Well, she's starting it off punchy, though, isn't yeah. she? I love the way uh, the Iraq border is literally, literally. What did she say? <laughs> literally minutes away. Yeah. But anyway. I love long road trips. A lot of the farms in Kuwait have activities for families and things that you can do. If all else fails, just walking around in open fresh air is always nice. Another, oh, shocking revelation, roads. Yeah. Roads and pylons, and it's out. They're not pylons, they're electrical towers. <laughs> yeah. Electrical towers. And fresh air. And fresh air. It's nothing like the previous travel vlog, is it? Excuse me. Oh. I just burped. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's nothing anyway. No, there's nothing similar about it. No, it's not same old. Still, I'll tell you what's nice. It's nice to see blue sky. Correct. And because it's warm, so we're looking at warmth, which is nice. It is nice. Instead of looking at icy roads. Oh, it's cold here. It is cold, isn't it? We've never said. No. And she won't put the heating on. She's too tired. Oh, it's on. <laughs> <sighs> If you choose to romp around at minus 7 degrees at 7am in the morning before I'm even awake, that's not my problem. Yeah, but it's not 7 in the morning now. It's I know. Now. The heating's been on for hours. Well, you want to try to turn it up or not? <laughs> when she yeah. says heating, she means we're sat around a candle. Oh! Those electricity bills don't pay themselves, you know. Get a vest on. Yeah, well, personally, I think we should probably just channel the dog's fart. <laughs> They've got to produce some heat. I'll tell you what, yeah. Anyway, 
On to a winner there. <laughs> I'm eating my first meal of the day, a tuna on whole bran bread. The Taco Bell I ate yesterday made me pretty sick. So I'm trying to eat healthy and not eat out for today. So I'm going to eat my homemade sandwich. I wonder why that Taco Bell made us sick. <laughs> <laughs> Nob cheese. <laughs> But can I, uh, I want to comment on this Sani, Sandwich. That is terrible the way she's packed that. She's taken no, it's all crinkly um, tin foil. She's driven to Iraq with it in the back of the car in that heat. Uh, she's going to get sick after that. Mm. But I, I, I'm a sandwich expert, aren't I, Karen? Well, you'd think they'd have a bit of a cool bag, wouldn't you, being as in a very hot climate? Yeah, you'd. Well, um, they have they have got a bit of a space. Um, oh, they've got a chilling thing. Oh, they've maybe got a, chilling a chiller thing, but the, she's taking no care with that sandwich, and I'm not impressed. Ruth is very fussy about sandwiches. Very fussy. You do make a good sandwich. Though. I know I do, and that's what. And you know why? Because I take care. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been served a butty like that. Not in this house. No? No, that I wouldn't give a, the dog a butty like that. No? You give the dog better butties than you give me. Never mind. Just say it. Never mind. Before we get any further into this thrilling, <laughs> thrilling episode, what are the odds, Karen, it's going to be packed mm. with people? Well, that would depend on whether she's gone on the weekend or not. Oh, well, yeah. Because cool. apparently on the weekend, there's there's lots of people, there's hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. Hustling crowds. Well, of course, you avoid that because of the noise. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's so, so nice so much, is it? She just doesn't like people. She doesn't. I don't know why. And it, this struck me today when I um, was looking at videos of her in empty QA. She could do with hiring a few extras. Uh, yes. You know, just to dot around the place to make it look a bit... Milling about. Yeah, to make it look a bit happening. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Because, um, yeah. Thus far, I'm not gripped. Well, we just keep seeing empty places. We do. Here's another empty place. Here's another empty mall. Here's another empty beach. Yeah. And now we're at an empty farm. Yeah. Um, where I dare say we it, won't get anything interesting out of a I'd, uh, gobble. Look, I'm, I'm, a wild stab in the dark, there's going to be a lot of plants. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be walking around this huge farm here called the Al Bohaira Farms in Abdali, which is near the Iraq border. It's about an hour and a half away from where we reside in Kuwait. And there's lots to see here. It's a huge farm, so we're going to get a lot of exercise in. And I can't wait, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful weather, 16 degrees Celsius. I love it. Yalla, let's go. Yalla! Uh Oh, just <laughs> enough with the yalla now. Hey, <laughs> getting on my nerves. Shut up. Here we have some kale fields, all kinds. Curly, the other kind. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. She's not a botanist. <laughs> if it doesn't come on a sandwich, she's no fucking idea what it's called. Short swath David Scattenbury is an expert on <laughs> <in> nature. <laughs> yes, we've got all these types of kale. <laughs> this one and the other. Over there. <laughs> Yalla. I don't know what it's called. We have some broccoli here on this side. Bloody hell, you don't get them down Tesco, do I you? I tell you what, it's a lovely bit of broccoli, that, that green one, but the rest of it... Do you reckon <sighs> that's just one broccoli? That's well, massive. Obviously. 
No, I think it's... What are you uh, going to do with one broccoli like that? That's going to be one big Sunday dinner. <laughs> but not with cheese. She wants to ship it to Pookie, doesn't she? <laughs> she likes a bit of broccoli. Oh, never mind her. <laughs> oh. Can we have some beetroot? Well, uh, It's like Doctor Who. Okay, that's just bloody offensive. What? She said Doctor Who. That's a minging old London telephone box, Doctor. That's not the TARDIS. Well, we know it's not the TARDIS because... Well, it's not you to see. Doc <laughs> Doctor Who can fit in his phone box with 17 <laughs> other assistants. But it's... it. Uh, uh, no, don't be talking about Doctor Who, love. No. Ooh. Well, touched a nerve there. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some chamomile here. We have a cabbage field here. Wonder if there's any cabbage patch kids in here. <laughs> 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 She made it funny. And, uh, yeah, but I, I noticed a little sparkle in your eye when she, there was a cabbage patch. <laughs> well. You love a bit of cabbage. I love a bit of cabbage, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I did redeem myself after the raw roasted cabbage. I did something else and it was Dalash, wasn't it? What did you do? I can't remember, but... Anyway, something just fell off the wall and I crapped myself. Uh, Ruth is an expert at putting things up on the walls. <sighs> Unfortunately, every day we have a mishap and something falls off. Well. And that was the daily fall. It, yeah, and you know why? Because the heating's far too high <laughs> and the sticky pads have melted. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. You can't build a wall with sticky pads, just say Well, I've found that out over the years. I'm not wishing to be horrible, but this is a fucking bore, man. Well, I was going to say, isn't there a parole board we could apply to to get out of it <laughs> for good behaviour? Because, dear Lord. Uh, oh, I'll have to speed her up, I think. Yeah. It's windy today and bright. <laughs> So there's the detailed meteorological <laughs> forecast. Oh, personally, I'm giving up the will to live, but hey. hey on, it's, on... it's windy and it's bright. And not a lot of people. No people. Right. But at least it's bright. Yeah. And she's doing the damn thing, Well, I guess. Yeah. Windmill. She didn't tell us we were going to play a little game. <laughs> Word association. <laughs> Quick fire round, Ruth. Windmill. Uh, 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 Dog farts. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm finding it a bit difficult to keep up with the narration. <laughs> it's just bam, 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 isn't it? <laughs> well, we were just hysterical because <laughs> we sat watching two minutes of her just fucking walking. And like with our tongues hanging out, uh, and I was, I was dribbling looking, and everything. I was looking through my purse to see if I got a twenty pound note. I can <laughs> because I, I, I'm just the little old lady that sits on the settee, and I don't know how to work this equipment, so I can't stop it, and I have to beg and plead with her to stop it. But we didn't. I ran with it. And we watched it for two whole minutes, and then at the end, she just went windmill. windmill. <laughs> Uh, worth every minute. Every minute yeah. of my Lucky life. Lucky for you, I've cut it out. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but I hope it's not poisonous. That's where Salah is planning to dump the body. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I was going to say was, <laughs> well, I hope it is poisonous. No offence, but dear God, let <laughs> this be over. <laughs> Any hour now, patience. <laughs> I like jogging. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Fair play to her. Yes. She can jog with that. Um, weight, weight on her, yes. Then fair play to her. Yeah. I, I can't knock her for that. No. And actually, we're not knocking her for getting off a fat ass and moving about. Absolutely not. Because full of admiration for people who can get up and move instead of sitting on the fat asses and whinging that, mm. that you know they can't do it, like mm. like the other gits. Slimy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So the thing is, she's also doing what I could not do. I could not have done the whole Thailand thing. No. With boils on, bursting out all over mm. and, you know, the whole... I, I couldn't. So, um No, there's one thing about her. She can... She'll get out and about. Yeah. You know, we're not just sitting, like, looking at the other 600-pounder sat in her apartment talking about fucking mops and fucking Lego and... I don't know. Uh, and what not? Crusty fucking skin folds. Mm. Oh no, she didn't talk about them, does she? Because well, she showers. We know they're there. Allegedly. Well, that two seconds of jogging really did me in. <laughs> oh, it's a raccoon. It's a Beezer raccoon. <laughs> so bees are not only friendly, bees are raccoons. Well. Maybe she's uh, an entomologist. No, what's entomology? Stamp collecting. <laughs> <laughs> That's philately, isn't it? <laughs> what? I don't know, but entomology don't... isn't that a subject of in... insects? Well, it's in a bit. Look, my brain's gone. Honestly. And I and I've completely forgotten the hilarious <laughs> quip I was going to make. So back to you, Karen. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what anybody's talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going a bit. I'm going a bit like Delulu. Well, considering what we're watching, you can't be faulted. There's also a lot of bouncy castles here for kids. Shame there's no kids in Kuwait. Well, there doesn't seem to be anybody in Kuwait. <laughs> no. Corn. Oh, horsey. Oh my God, there's a little pony. Hi. Don't even think about it. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Just letting this run because they're lovely horses. And, um, yeah, have you noticed the two shady people at the side of the cornfield that are dying a million deaths trying to hide from the camera? Oh, yes. You see them in the background there? Yes. They don't want to be on camera, but... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Wow, you're so pretty. Hi. Hi. No, God, please, no. No! Petunia. I used to have a hamster called Petunia. Gonna get the smallest size they have, gelato mango. 
so smallest serving they have not bad to have a little treat and um, it's got chunks of fresh mango in it mm. it's like sherbet yum wow not too sweet so I know you're probably thinking you're on a health journey but realistically it's okay to have little treats like this once in a while as part of your diet I'm out here doing a lot of walking the rest of my diet so far today has been well and I'm also sharing this with my husband my husband so yeah <laughs> but it's really good and really full of sugar which is great for your diabetes love mm. and are we uh, believing that she shared it with my husband i doubt it <clears throat> i doubt it and guess what i couldn't care less no this is so boring it's ridiculous boring now i mean it, it, uh, 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 anyway <laughs> this is comfy <laughs> all i keep getting visions of is that whole ceiling crashing down that's what i was thinking but of course she wouldn't have filmed it would she and i tell you what those wicker things be murder on a hemorrhoids <laughs> <laughs> nobody said she had hemorrhoids but you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um i just wanted to say like the little changes that i'm trying to make Oh, fuck off, you knobhead. Oh, <laughs> I can't stand anymore. I can't. Look, I have not got many years left on this <laughs> earth. And, uh, oh, I could... Uh, we've tried, haven't we? We've tried. We've been very trying. Uh, but... But uh, with her and the dog's farts... You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. No, you can't. And, uh, oof. She's... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to lower myself. Uh, no. To say... Enough. She's a sow. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say she was a sow. How dare you suggest that I would say that? I I know you wouldn't say she's a sow. No. Anyway, I'm going to skip then because I'm really so bored of this shit. <laughs> Me too. So we did do some coverage of the... Um, what bloody hell meal was that? Now I'm all confused. Confused. The pie. The pie, yeah. We, the chicken we, pie. Yeah, I've done a little bit of coverage of the chicken pie, so I'm just going to skip to that. Okay. I just feel like it. Beauty bite. So there's chicken thighs, um, corn, beans, like green beans, carrots. Oh. There was already a huge chunk missing. That was um, my husband's. <laughs> my husband! So, dear viewers, we've come to the end of this thrilling installment. Uh, th oh, th thriller minute. Yes, we're leaving you with a positive cliffhanger. What's the cliffhanger? Well, I don't know. Oh. Was there not one? I don't think so. Oh. Will oh. she continue on her health I don't know, journey? I don't know, a bit like Batman, you see, didn't she? Mm. Batman mm. used to leave cliffhangers. He did, and they were a lot more exciting yeah. than what we've attempted to come up with. But anyway... Good old Adam West. Oh, aye. We love a bit of Adam West. Oh, aye. And uh, who else do we like? A bit of, a bit of um, Billy Shat. Oh. Billy Shatner. Billy Shatner. We love a bit of Billy Shatner. James T, the best captain Ever. Yeah, and if you want to disagree, we're just going to block you. Ha ha ha! Not really. Not, Not really. really. <laughs> right, well, thank you for watching. If you've got this far, you deserve a bloody medal. You do, do. And do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that around, Salah. All right. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, that was. Uh, <laughs> that was an unfortunate <laughs> angle at the beginning of the pie. <laughs> Ch chum. Well, that was a normal face. I know it was, and then she put her filters on. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, this again is filters off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but she's prettier than 95% of Tintinets. <coughs> so yeah. we're reliably informed. 
Yeah, don't she said something about that today, didn't she? Some, oh, was I'm pretty. I I've I seem to have watched so much Shazza lately. I'm uh, I'm confused as to which one's which, and she's all out of sync anyway. Yeah. So I, I don't know what the hell's going on. I wasn't impressed with the pie either. No. But I won't go into detail about how fat laden it was. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I really took one for the team on this because I did watch this entire bloody walking video, which lasted 19 minutes. Did it? Oh. Felt like 19 days. Oh, 19 weeks. <laughs> oh, if, if we could just drop all the posing and the hands under the chin, staring into the camera and... Uh, doing the V sign. Yeah, and David Scattenborough doing all his really unflattering angles of her. Yeah. Showing her to be even huger than she probably is. Yes, um, yes. You know, and if she would sort of do more of a voiceover, but yeah. just her wandering along, it's so Shouting boring. corn. <laughs> and yeah. what, cabbages? Kale. <laughs> corn. Curly and the other. <laughs> Oh, beach roots. Yeah, come on, Shazzy, you've got to up your game. Because, come on, love. Oh, give us a break. Yeah. You know, we do our best. I know you don't like reaction channels, but, you know. We it, think you're fabulous. Yeah, we love you, yeah. And uh, I can't, cannot look, listen to or acknowledge the existence of that other Slithering. All right, let's all keep right, it positive. All right. Yeah, let's keep it positive. Okay. We don't need to get into that. We love Shazza. So we'll bid you farewell. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. And what not. And, um, like and subscribe. Yes, we may see you in the comments section. Be yeah. terribly witty and British. <laughs> or not. Probably. Yeah. Right, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.